Hi, Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace your kitchen faucet. The first step in replacing a kitchen faucet is to turn off the water to the faucet itself. So underneath the sink, you'll find a couple of valves like this. You want to turn it off. This is what's called a quarter turn valve, so you just have to turn it a quarter turn. Some may actually keep turning until you can't turn it any longer. The new faucet that we're going to be installing actually comes with water lines already attached. That's not the case with all faucets that you purchase, but since that's what we're going to be putting in, I'm going to go ahead and take a pair of channel locks here and I'm going to loosen and take this off the water valve itself. And these flexible lines are pretty easy to remove and you may get a little dripping of water. Make sure you have a towel or something there to collect that water. Okay, so for the sake of this demonstration, so that you can actually see what we're doing, we actually have this sink set up on a pair of horses so that I can describe to you exactly what's going to happen. You are going to be working inside your sink base looking up at the bottom of this sink. So you want to make sure that you clear out everything out of the way so you can get up inside there. Now this older faucet you'll see has two water lines here. And in order to remove the faucet first, these water lines need to come out. It's going to be difficult to try and get a wrench up in here because it's such a tight space. So you may want to purchase something called a basin wrench. Now this is a wrench, see it's kind of oddly shaped, but the idea behind it is you flip this either way depending on which way you're going to turn and loosen it and you come up from the bottom and you kind of place it over the nut like this and as you grab it with your fingers you're able to loosen the water line using this specialty plumbing wrench and once you get it loose you can take your fingers up in there and take that completely off. This is not our bird's eye view, this is our chipmunk view looking up. So these two stems you see right here are what's holding the faucet in place and these retaining bolts right here are also holding it in place. Now depending on the age of the faucet you may be able to reach up with your hand and loosen these. If not you can again use the basin wrench to get up inside there just to kind of crack that and undo it first. It's a little tricky because remember it's going to be a tight area but you're going to use that wrench to loosen that and once you do you can take your hand and start removing this. Once both of these retaining nuts are off you'll pull the faucet out from the top. Now this is a demo sink. This is all clean but when you take this off of your old sink this is going to all be dirty so you want to wipe this all down and get it as clean as possible. The new faucet that we're going to install actually is a single hole, but because we have multiple holes here, we're going to use this excussion plate over the top of that. Okay, now that this is all cleaned up, as I mentioned, we're going to put this excussion. Now for demo purposes, I just want to tell you that you want to make sure that you're following the instruction. This little plastic gasket here, they want you to apply a sealant, like silicone sealant around this, that you'll put on there to seal it so water doesn't get down there. I'm not doing that now, but you do want to follow the instructions. Now with that excussion in place, this is a single faucet. I'm going to feed the water tubes through that hole and then the entire body of the faucet is going to fit in there over the top. So now I'm going to feed the parts as recommended by the manufacturer through the water lines because as I mentioned these water lines are connected to the faucet already and you're going to get the fitting in place and then screw on the retaining nut where it needs to go and you're going to line this all up exactly how it's described in the instructions. Okay, our new faucet you see came with water lines and I think you can see the difference. There's one that has a little red marking and one that has blue. Obviously the blue is for the cold water. So we're going to go ahead and put the cold water on first. And these have rubber gaskets already put inside there. So you just want to make sure that you're putting it on with your hands first and get it snug. And then from there you can either use a wrench or a pair of channel locks like this to tighten it. You don't want to over tighten, you just want to get it nice and snug 
and that's it. Turn the water on, make sure there's no leaks, and then it's time to test the faucet. If you'd like more advice, please go to our website, acehardware.com, and follow us on our YouTube channel. Or better yet, stop by your local Ace Hardware store, because Ace is the helpful place.